my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We are on episode... What episode are we on? Hello, my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. And I think we're on, like, episode 28 now. The Green Head Hunt has been in full swing. I've actually still got a few of mine around the base here. Some people have actually been in the base, but I keep adding more and more to the game because there actually have been a lot taken and- oh, what's this? There's a- okay, I- I think something fishy- oh, is this stress monster? I think something fishy is going on, because she's got that kind of accent. Did you lose your heads? I have returned them to you. You're welcome, stress. Oh, sweet. She has no idea that there's a competition going on. So, I think the only logical thing to do here is to go and put them straight back in her base. <laughs> So this is Stress Monster's Ice Kingdom thing going on here, so I think if we can find a little room, maybe not this one, that's a bit too big. She clearly hasn't been in this one though. <laughs> maybe this is, this looks like her normal base. Yep, yeah, this looks like it. So if we just put them all in here, wait, is that a chicken head? Is Stress Poultry Man? Maybe it's Poultry Woman. Anyway, let's go and put them all in here. There we go. I've put them all back in her base and it says green heads are never lost. They're only found. I think that's pretty neat. Hopefully she'll get the message that there's actually a competition on. I bet as soon as her episode goes out she's gonna find out from the comments that there is a competition going on. So you may also notice when I was flying out my base that I've added the giant rings that I was talking about last episode. And I called it a very stupid thing, but I've managed to do it. I've also lit up most of the seafloor, and I was actually singing the Pickles on the Seafloor song. I've done quite a lot of it. Man, it takes a lot. I think that was like 20 odd stacks of pickles down there. It takes a long time to light all that up, but doesn't it look awesome? And this ring, doesn't this ring look absolutely brilliant? Now, I actually time-lapsed the creation of this because I want to show you quickly just how much I messed up. It's so difficult to make this kind of ring. So what I did was I went on to- oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is dangerous. I need to make that mob farm because my base is so good for mobs. Let's go and sleep. So basically, let me explain. This is the time-lapse going on right now. So, making a giant circle in Minecraft is an absolute nightmare because it's so easy to mess up. One block out of place and the whole thing doesn't line up. Very, very bad. So, I obviously had a few attempts at it. It took me over an hour to make those two rings and it took a lot of resources as well. And if you didn't know, we've got a new nether base project. I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but it's kind of important. So we're making this mini map of the entire server in the nether, and it is absolutely massive. We need thousands and thousands of blocks, but we also need thousands and thousands of blocks of the ones that I get regularly. Sand, gravel, terracotta, all of those kind of blocks. So I kind of have to weigh up whether I contribute a lot to that, or I focus here on what I've got to do, because I use like several stacks. I use dozens of stacks of terracotta just to make these two rings. Making all that filled with concrete and then the walls underwater, we're talking thousands of blocks. And of course, I should really play my part as best I can in the Nether Hub project as well. But as you can see, the rings are pretty much complete now. So I messed up a few times, but overall it was pretty good. Now, even if you're, you're thinking that this doesn't look like a proper circle because of like all this janky stuff going on here, I admit it does look janky, but I used World Edit on a different server to give me the precise radius of this circle. So this is a computer generated circle and it is pixel perfect as well, as pixel perfect, perfect as it can be. So it might look it's slightly different to how the circle would look if I did it by eye, but this looks pretty cool. So basically, because my base is so tall and thin, I thought that it needed a bit of a base width addition to it. And my goodness, doesn't that look rad? That ring really cements it in place. Now, there's a lot of work to be done here, a lot of work. And I won't be making another aquarium, I don't think, because that took way longer than it needed to. 
but I probably will put at least one wall, maybe on the outside. But in this side of the base, you can see that I've got this glass here, and this is a really cool addition, but it's all white concrete on this ring. So I'm thinking that I probably will put some glass panes there or glass panels so that you can see down into the bottom. And I think that's going to be really cool. So that is the next part of the base. I feel like I haven't done enough base progress recently. So I'm going to really focus today on making a lot of things for the base. And one of the things that I want to do today is move my nether portal. So at the moment, my nether portal is all the way down here. So that's where it is there. And it's not really in a very neat location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel all the way up to the top here. And I've got a couple of ideas. So I'm probably going to show you in a different world. But there's a big space here. And this is where I want my nether portal to be. Hopefully I've got enough resources. I've got some obsidian and some blocks of iron. Now I'm either thinking. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll show you in the other world. So here we have our backup world. This is my base. And wow, it feels weird to be able to just fly around and creative like this. So I'm thinking the portal should go up here. There's this really nice space for something extra special. The problem that I'm having here is that this is not a convenient place to use a portal. Maybe it could just be ceremonial, but let's let's put this into practice, right? So all of my stuff is down here at the bottom. So everything that I use is down here. From my chests, to the, the smelter, to the farms, everything I use is down here. Simply because it's a pain to go up all the time. So that's why I have this elevator. So if I wanted to go into the nether, I have to wait a full 20 seconds to make it all the way up to the top. Man, really is a long way. And this doesn't even go to the top anymore, it goes to here. So, yeah, this is a really long way to go to just use the nether portal. So I'm thinking maybe this is the guest one and then I have a more convenient one. So if anyone comes to my base, the portal will end up here. But then I could use the one down there. I, it's very, very difficult to get right. Nevertheless, I think that we should use this space up here for the nether portal as I think it will look really, really rad. There's two things that I have in mind for this. There's two options. And both of them are spherical in nature. We have a height of 29 blocks. And I don't want it to hit the actual top because that will ruin the effect of the pillars. So I'm going to remove that. And we don't want it to touch this. So we, we're looking at about that big. Now that perhaps doesn't look too large. That is 12 blocks. So if I sit roughly in the middle here. And I type in this command. Here we have a sphere of blue glass. Now, my idea is to have a glass earth replica at the top. Now, that does not look big at all. In context, that looks absolutely tiny. Might have to make that significantly bigger. In fact, I'm starting to think that this one won't work at all. But we'll, we'll, we'll persevere nonetheless. So I've moved it slightly up with a sphere of 11. That actually does look pretty good because it's actually floating now. But this is where the base is usually viewed from. That could be pretty decent. Now, how would this look with a portal? There we go. So we do a big portal and I can kind of work with this. I can either make this like just another portal here by doing that. I can make it seem like it's all filled in. Or I could just keep it with that in mind. So if we have a look from the outside, that's what it might look like. It's the earth portal, but obviously I need to put a little bit more earth in here because right now it's a planet full of water. But you kind of get the concept. All we're trying to do here is this is not accurate to how it would particularly be, but you get the concept. It would be an earth floating above the giant base. And I got to admit, it does look pretty cool. Uh, as long as you could figure out what it is, because it definitely needs more green in there. But it, it does definitely work. However, there's a second idea that I want to show you. Now, for this one, I'm actually going to have to start this off with a big old rectangle. There we go. I've got a big old rectangle. And this is where my next portal idea comes from. Now, all I'm going to do, just for the sake of this demonstration, this might not be exactly how it ends up being decorated. But what I'm going to do is essentially try and build a circle around this to make it look like a stargate. 
because I'm going for a very futuristic build here, I really want to try and keep it in theme as much as possible. The hard part is trying to make this circular while maintaining this giant square. So that's going to be the challenge here, but I'm pretty sure I can make it work if I put my mind to it. Okay, so that's not too bad. I've managed to put together something that looks a bit like a circle. The more you zoom out, the more the further you get away, the less of a circle it starts to look. However, that looks pretty good. And I'm also thinking if I turn that into quartz, I can use some slabs and staircases as well. So let's actually put in the portal so you can see the purple. And let's just, uh, and let me just say right now that this is undecorated. This is just a proof of concept. Something like that, that makes it seem a bit more clean. Now, still not a perfect circle, but those are kind of the two options we're talking about. I do like that portal in a huge amount, and I can just picture it now with a few decorations, like some trapdoors on the sides, maybe a bit of an indent here, an indent there. This could work really, really well. I could even make it supported, but I kind of like the idea that it sort of just floats here in the middle. There's something else I can do here, but those are the two basic concepts that I have to show you. So let's take a proper look back here. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a flower. Maybe I shouldn't put a portal there at all. Take a look at the card section here. I'm gonna put three options in for the world design, for this Stargate design, or no design at all, leave it empty. Those are the three options that we have, and... I will take your guys' opinion into account, but I'm very much undecided. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for yet, but I have just challenged Ren to a rocket fight. And by rocket fight, I mean I'm challenging him to a flight contest, and this should be really funny. I've obviously been practicing my flying a lot. So let's go and find Ren. He should be around here. So there he is. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to take on my challenge? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I I've seen you flying around here, dude. It it's pretty impressive. Well, I'm not always the best, so this is this is how it's going to go down, yeah. right? The the okay. goal here is all you've got to do is follow me yeah. until I decide we're at the end, and if you get to the end, you win a prize. Okay. Right. If you die. You don't okay. Win. Um, all right. I want to even the playing field though. Oh. No armor. Get it off. No arm. Well, to be fair, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna here plop everything I have in here. Yep. Do some ploppage. I literally have an elytra, some rockets, and some chicken. That's it. Right. I've got that some steak it. and some rockets. There you go. There's there's some rockets. Ooh. You might need. Yeah. You might need that many. There we go. So you're going to have sure to follow me, including the takeoff. Okay, where are we taking off from? Well, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to jump off straight, off straight off of here, and we're going to go okay. on a journey. Are you ready? Uh, this is... Uh, I can just feel the shame already. No, if, right, I, if I die, you win. Okay. We're going to start off fairly easy, going through some simple holes. Yeah. We're going to weave. Yeah. Oh, oh it's okay. Uh, I took I took a hit. I took a hit. I'm We're back gonna though. We're going to weave again. All right, all right. Just follow me from here. Are you ready? This is where it's yeah. going to start getting intense. Follow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> where did you even die? Well, that that was embarrassing. What did you hit? I did Oh, in fact, I, I found a rocket. It. Yeah. I didn't even make it into the valley. I don't even know where you... Where have you... Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, How... I splattered right into the, the side of the fountain. Hmm. I, oh, my, I t as I told you, my dude, this is not, this is not my jam. All right, I, I, so I'm what we're going to do is we're going to give you some armor, and I won't have armor. Oh, okay. All right, there's all your stuff in the bottom. Take my armor okay. as well. And we're going to take you. this down from 150cc Mario Kart to 50cc Mario Kart, okay? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. We didn't even get to my base. Okay, so we're going to do the same route. I'm going to go through yep. this little gap in Scar's World War II hangar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to fly through the chimneys 
turn. Fly through the chimneys. Yeah, did no. it. Oh, doing it in third person is way easier. We're going to go through the middle of this. The, the tower. Uh, okay, took some <laughs> damage. I'm fine. Okay, okay. And now we're going to go through the middle of the Mumbo and Duke statues. Do a hard right. Okay, through the Mumbo and Duke statues. Do a hard right. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And then through the chorus fruit. Uh, through the chorus fruit. Okay, kind of. All right, cool. And then we're going to go... Right, we're going to do a swift maneuver now. We're going to go into False's fishbowl and then straight back out again. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> In and out. Oh, gotcha. nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, now, cool. now we're going to go and see how, how you can do the dive. So we're going to okay. maneuver through these trees. Yeah. And hard left. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and we're going to go good. to my base. We're going to go all the way up to the top. Okay. Yep. We're gonna my heart's arc, racing right now. I arc, don't know why. Arc over slowly. And through yep. the tunnel we go. Oh, God. And then oh my pull out at the last second. Oh, my. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> all right. We're going to go through Scar's trees now. And then we're going to go to his volcano. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Did you make it? Yep. And then we're going to go through his portal. Hard right. Through the portal. Through you the have portal. done this too long, dude. You know exactly the route. <laughs> Come on, through here. In this little hole. Round round, yeah. the, round the core a couple of times. Oh, here we go. Yes. And then out the and other then side. Out, then out the other side. Then we're going to go to... All right. Now you're going to have to try and keep up because we're going to go and do some heavy maneuvering. Oh, I took a bit of damage. Oh, oh. Are you doing some bobbing and weaving? Well, I'm in weaving between in, the thing and the jeans. Okay. And then Ow, what we're gonna okay. do is we're gonna go through the concorp. Oh, that's disgusting. And then we're gonna go through this hole here, through the trees, round the mountain. We're gonna go round Scar's lovely landscaping shop a couple of times because this is a great place to go. Gonna bob yep. and weave, go round. This is ah. like a, a server tour on Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the last test. Here's the last test, okay? Yeah. So this yep. is the hardest maneuver because of the angles. You've got to dive yep. into the pickle shop and then all the way to the bottom and then straight back out again. Into the pickle shop, all the way into the bottom and then all the way straight back up again. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Didn't quite make it and uh, I kind of made it. I took a lot of damage. <laughs> I died in your pickle, dude. <laughs> this, is, this is an awkward moment. <laughs> I didn't even die from Did flying. I just fell to my death. Uh, oh, I missed G -G. the water. GGG <sighs> unit. GG, my dude. <sighs> that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Ren. And if anyone else wants to challenge me at my rocket game, then I would love to do a bit more flying. However, I'm really hoping that someone's going to make a actual flying game on the server. In other news, Jevin has got in touch and basically told me that this is my money now. This is my diamonds. He, he's genuinely giving it to me. And so I'm going to do the only sane thing I know when I've been given so many diamonds. And that spend the whole lot on rockets. I get through so many because I fly like a maniac. Like, you saw what I did with Red. I love flying around like an absolute crazy person. So we're going to go straight here. Tango's already here. <laughs> All right. There we go. I might as well keep going as well. Get as many as I can. The rate I go through these, seriously. So, I've bought an entire double chest full already. <laughs> that should tide me over for a while. <laughs> this will last me at least two hours. <laughs> Tango makes so much money from me. Jevin really shouldn't have given me all of that cash, because now I'm just going to spend it all on rockets. So this is going to be my emergency supply for a while. There we go. So that is probably enough 
fireworks for at least several hours of flying for me. <laughs> so that should be really good. And look, I didn't even make a dent in my new money. This is mad. I, I should not be given this much cash, I'll be honest. Now, as many of you know, I have a little secret room right down here. Now, this is the big hole that I made. And you might remember me saying, you'll never know when you need a big hole. And I have come up with exactly what I want to do here. And that is for next episode. But if you want a little sneak peek into what it might be, wait until the end of this episode. There might be a little bit of a spoiler there for you. I'm going to create a secret base down here. 100% but what there's gonna be You will have to wait and find out one thing is for sure though I'm going to be using the new technique that I found to open it. So this is the uh, this is the idea This is how it works So this is how the entrance is gonna work and if you've watched my most recent video Then you will already know exactly what I'm gonna do. So basically So what we have is a pressure plate hidden behind this place and we could hide it here, 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 anywhere where there's a decently sized corner, we can place this pressure plate. And it's as simple as throwing the trident in exactly the right place, you get the red zone signal, and what I'm hoping will happen, or well, I can make happen, is that I create a floor that opens up and I fall through into the underground layer. So I'm going to create some sort of mechanism when I make this, and this is what it's gonna be. Now that I've bought my rockets as well, this also means that I don't need to charge that much. I, I didn't really even need to change the price in my stash for cash shop. So I'm going to go and put that back to the way it was because otherwise no one is ever going to use it again. But I feel like Jevin's given me so much money I don't need any more sales. So we need to change this from three stacks of iron. Hold on. Did that say? That says three stacks of iron. Is someone taking the mic? Three stacks of diamonds there we go now I'm gonna sign this now nobody can mess with the price anymore done and dusted wait I did put that in right didn't I cool that is exactly what we needed my base is really starting to look cool now I can't wait to get this nether portal in and then I want to mess around with trying to detail this and I want to fiddle around trying to fix this bit because as you can see I have spent like this was a double chest full of concrete powder here. I've made my way all the way around, but I haven't quite finished yet. This is extraordinarily time consuming and a lot of resources. I'm not even sure I'm going to make it all the way around to create this wall. I think I think I might struggle with that, but I'm going to give it a go anyway, and I think this will look really cool. So that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye!